it's properly springtime hooray the winter is over it's a perfect time now we've got the Easter holidays for you to get your kids drawing so prize them off of whatever they're doing at the moment and stick them in front of this video with pencil some paper and some felt tip pens or colouring pencils if you've got them and let's get doodling Hello and thanks for joining me again on our doodling journey. If you're new around here I make drawing videos every fortnight so make sure that you subscribe and ding that bell notification so that every time I upload a video you know about it first. Oh and don't forget to share it with your friends so that they can draw some cool things too. So stick your snorkel on and let's dive into the video. Start by finding yourself a dinner plate and draw around it to make a big circle on your piece of A4 paper and to that you can add some uh, egg shapes. I've got eight of them and I'm doing different sorts of patterns on, on four of them so I'm repeating the pattern twice and then in between each egg I've got some little leaves here and then you can colour them, make, give yourself a colour scheme, I'm doing mine yellow and blue and colour your eggs in so they look very pretty and this is the final piece. I've added Happy Easter to the middle of it. Easter wouldn't be Easter without an Easter bunny. So to start with I have made some shapes in pencil, some big sort of egg shapes to connect the big back leg, the body, the head, a little fluffy tail and then I'm joining those shapes up there's the neck, there's the tummy, and this is the Easter egg that it's holding. Make sure your bunny has four legs and some facial features. So I'm going to draw an eye and a little cheeky nose and a cute little smile. So change pens to a slightly thinner one for the details. This is 0.2 for the fluff around the tail and the rest of the eye. And then I'm going to draw a ribbon here for the Easter egg. Not forgetting he needs to be or she needs to be sitting in some sort of background. So before I started colouring I rubbed out all the lines and I've drawn here some flowers. I've got two different colour pinks I'm going to use for the majority of the colour. So here is the first pale pink on the egg and some of the ribbon. And then I'm going to put that pink by for in a few minutes. Darker pink, this is a more of a fuchsia pink for picking up some of the detail in the middle of the flowers and on the ribbon. I'm going back in with the paler pink for his cheeks and the inside of the bunny ears. Now remember what I said about floating in space, we don't want any of that. So here is some grass so he can be sitting in a field with his Easter egg. Next up we've got a spring lamb, so I've got two circles for the head and the body and then three elongated oval shapes for the ears and the tail. And now I've just drawn a little bow, a V shape for his nose, two circles for the eyes and drawing round those, connecting those with my fine liner pen. When you do the body, do a wiggly line like this all the way round the body and the tail to show the texture of the wool. And here is the ribbon that goes round the sheep's neck. Round that bit there and then underneath his chin, don't forget. And then I've just done four straight lines with triangles at the end to show the legs and the hoops. V shape for the nose, big smile, two round circles for the eyes. And I'm gonna swap my pen now so I can do the details. A little illustrator secret is to draw the pupil so they're slightly towards the inner edge of the eyeball to stop them looking like they're glazed over. Okay, going in with some colour. This is for the ribbon, a pretty gold colour. And using the same pink as I used with the rabbit I'm just going to do the inside of the ears and his nose and his little mouth. 
Okay, now for the hooves. Dark brown, just colour them in. You can leave a little white bit if you want. And then a dark grey, doing these W's, or sort of double W's if you like, to show the texture of the wool. And again, we don't want him sitting in space, so he's going to have a little bit of green around him to show that he is in a field. Two friends sitting in a nest, a chick and a ladybird. I've started off with the chick is a big sort of eggy shape, then the wing is an M, a giant M that I've joined to the egg shape, and that's as if he's got his wing outside of the nest. And then the nest is a big sort of sausage shape, which I'm making the edges all textured. Then two circles for the eyes of the chick and a triangle for the beak and then a little side bit for the underneath of the beak. Some leaves to show that the nest has been is made of stuff. And then have the pupils pointing towards each other so they look like they're looking at one another and having a conversation. Rub out your lines when you need to before you start colouring. The back of the ladybird is red and I've drawn the spots already in black too, one on each side. And then the face, I'm just drawing in grey rather than black so that you can see his expression. Now, brush pens. I've got a brush pen for this yellow because it's quite a big area to fill. So turn your paper as you're going round. Go round the facial features, all the way round and then colour in. And then a different colour for the beak, I've got an orange here to fill in the top and the bottom beak. Next up, it's the rest of the nest, so again, just going all the way around the edges and filling in as much as you possibly can, and then some green for the leaves, and that's it. As promised, a super cute little bonus feature, you need two egg-shaped pieces of felt which you can colour in some paw prints on. This I've used pink, but if you've got brown, you can use brown or grey if you want to as well. So, I've got a pot. I've put a little piece of crockery in the bottom so that all the soil doesn't fall out, and I've half filled it with compost. And there I've got a little yellow viola plant, which I'm just going to pop into that pot. I've got two different size pom-poms. They're both white, and two one of them, you put a bit of glue on, stick the little one on, hold it down, make it dry and then you're going to place it on the edge of your pot. So you need quite a bit of your glue here. I'm using PVA glue, that's probably better than using um, Prit type glue. You need it quite runny. And then a bit on the back of each paw and put that on the side as well. Hold it in place until it's dry and then you've got a little bunny disappearing underneath this plant. Ah, what fun! I enjoyed doing that. So if you want to, you could use them as Easter cards maybe to send to somebody or just to, as a bit of art, to stick it on your wall and make yourself feel all Eastery. There are so many things to draw now that spring has sprung and that things are coming to life. I've been drawing primroses lately for my bullet journal, so if you have a look up there in the corner, there's a link to the plan with me for April. And remember, if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up, go on, you know you want to, and subscribe, hit the bell notification, and comment below what you've drawn today and what things you're looking forward to over the Easter holidays. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.